First of all, I'm a vampire slayer. And secondly, I'm retired. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we are looking at awesome television protagonists who deserve every ounce of hype they receive from fans. Who do you think you are? I'm the person who says how things go, that's who I think I am. Number 10, Tyrion Lannister, Game of Thrones. That's what I do. I drink and I know things. With so many plot points in this show, it can be easy to get lost in the sauce as far as memorable characters go. Despite being made fun of by those in Westeros, Tyrion left a lasting impression on fans with his intelligence and perspective on life. In a world full of betrayal, Lannister's loyalty and nobleness are refreshing. Instead of being cruel in response to how he's been mistreated, he stays true to his moral code and shows others kindness. When my father told me the last dragon had died, a century ago, I cried myself to sleep that night. Talk about taking the high road. Don't let his warm heart fool you, though. He's not afraid to stand up to those he deems unworthy, even if they happen to be his family. Perhaps you should speak to me more softly, then. Monsters are dangerous, and just now, kings are dying like flies. Number 9. Michael Scott, The Office. Who's getting married? Nobody. Somebody doesn't tell me, I'm gonna start screaming. It's Eric and Megan. Oh, hey, I hired them. Matchmaker. As quite possibly the wackiest boss to ever grace the small screen, Michael Scott has certainly earned his place as one of the most beloved protagonists of all time. Although quite childish and downright infuriating at times, we can't help but be swayed by the humor in his outlandish strategies to successfully run Dunder Mifflin. When you have somebody's attention and their eyes are lighting up because they are very interested in what you have to say, that is a great feeling. He's obnoxious and hard to understand, but he's also, we regret to admit, not bad at his job. One-liners that would have gotten him fired in the real world aside, we very quickly grow a soft spot for him as he navigates his relationships inside and outside the workplace. But guys, I'm a victim here too. Okay? People have been saying that I'm a J. Crew model. No, we heard that about Jim. Jim? No, no. I... Number 8. William Will Smith, The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I begged and pleaded with her day after day, but she packed my suitcase to send me on my way. She gave me a kiss and then she gave me my ticket. I put my Walkman on and said I might as well kick it. Who wouldn't want to hear how this teen's life got flipped, turned upside down? Based on the fictionalized version of the actor, the show follows his new life in the fancy neighborhood of Bel Air. Will Smith is the perfect blend of comedy, chaos, and charm. Viewers young and old couldn't help but adore his imperfections as he learned to fit in with the upscale community. Will, these are my partners in the law firm of Firth, Wynn and Meyer. Hey, Earth, Wind and Fire, when's your next album coming out? <laughs> no matter how hard some characters try to erase his rough edges, Will remains authentic because of how he's able to stay true to himself and his roots. Although they may come from different backgrounds, you can tell how deeply he loves his family. Ash, from time to time, your fathers want to say or do things that may seem irrational or hard for you to understand. You know, it's not because he's mean or a bad guy, or it's not that he doesn't care about you. It's that he's from Mars, Ashley. Number seven, Olivia Pope, Scandal. I admire what you've accomplished. I respect how hard you work. And I don't have to be your friend to do my job brilliantly. So you'll look into this for me? Consider it handled. If you're not satisfied with your current job, why not start your own business? Olivia Pope is the original girl boss to grace our screens. As the former White House communications director, she created her own firm to fix political scandals. Dealing with crises surrounding politicians is already enough pressure as it is, let alone when you have to keep yourself out of the tabloids as the other woman. That's right, Pope is having an ongoing affair with none other than the President of the United States. Is it disloyal to want me, or is it disloyal to want him? You don't know. Okay, just stop Kiss it. Me. Skimming past that whole conflict, she's the ultimate professional and fashionista rolled into one. Her career and love life may be crazy, but she will always look good handling them. We stand in the sun, Jake. That's what we do. So please, if there's anything you know, anything you have that will help us put my father away, you need to tell us. We need to do this right. Number six, Jake Peralta, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I'm celebrating. 
My name's Jake Peralta, and I just got fired from the NYPD. The D in detective stands for dramatic because of this NYPD character. While he's solving crime cases with other eccentric personalities on the team, Jake Peralta takes the badge for funniest on the force with his one-liners and shenanigans. This is completely inappropriate. No, this is me scoring in your face. Kobe. Seemed like an obvious goaltend, but that's besides the point. Even though he gives off strong class clown energy with his immaturity and impulsivity, for the most part, he's pretty decent at his job of busting bad guys. His humor is the very thing that turns what would otherwise be grim and heavy situations into lighthearted and surprisingly tasteful fun. While his plans may be over the top, they make him the most entertaining cop out there. Here's my gun and my badge. I don't need those. You're not suspended yet, you're on administrative leave. Never let me do anything cool. Number five, Liz Lemon, 30 Rock. You know how I hate it when people cheat or break rules? Yes, I do. Well, I just spent 150 bucks on wieners. Atta boy. <laughs> Snagging a job as the head writer and showrunner of a comedy sketch show should be wonderful, right? Well, not if you're dealing with coworkers and clients with egos bigger than the Empire State Building. Luckily, that doesn't stop Liz from embracing the NYC work hustle and making a name for herself in the entertainment industry. She strives to succeed, both socially and within her career. I don't know, Jack. I just found out that I was a jerk in high school. Yeah, turns out I'm not the lovable nerd. We have no idea how she's able to solve the quirky problems thrown her way while caring for those around her. With her sarcasm and willingness to fail, she's truly an inspiration for anyone going after their dreams. I want Pete back. I want it in writing that Jenna's job is safe. And I want a cappuccino machine for the writer's room. Bye. Number four, Dean Winchester, Supernatural. But I wasn't able to find a hex back. All right, well, let's keep digging. But uh, not here. I don't like the way that was looking at me. Being the eldest brother comes with many responsibilities. In this family's case, that even includes battling malicious, life-threatening paranormal forces. As the other half of the demon-fighting pair, Dean is definitely the jokester of the two siblings. No matter the situation, he can always slip in a witty quip somewhere. I always knew I'd find the source of all evil at a vegan bakery. What's that smell? A patchouli. Yeah, mixed with depression. Although his confidence frequently traverses into cocky territory, it still manages to be impossibly charming, probably thanks to Jensen Ackles' phenomenal interpretation. Although he's a certified bad boy, Dean might just be one of the most sacrificial characters in TV history. He's always willing to give up anything and everything for those he cares about, especially his younger brother Sam. I don't know. Well, I do. Trust me, Sam, you got nothing to worry about. Number three. Tony Soprano, The Sopranos. I understand Freud. I understand therapy as a concept. But in my world, it does not go down. This morally gray protagonist completely transformed television. Leading a New Jersey-based mob while trying to be a good father and husband comes with its challenges. Tony manages to humanize criminals and remind viewers that not everything is as simple as one, two, three. Everybody upheld the code of silence. Nowadays, no values. Guys today have no room for the penal experience. So everybody turns government witness. The juxtaposition between his vulnerability in therapy sessions and the violent acts he commits leaves fans rooting for a character who is both the hero and the villain of the story. While he may be deeply flawed, he is one of the most complex characters ever depicted on screen. I'm afraid I'm gonna lose my family. I got lost the duck. That's what I'm full of dread about. Number two, Dr. Gregory House. House. Who is this guy? He's a patient. He's examining me. He's got to go back to work as soon as I'm done with the examination. Guess I do too. Unconventional practices and doctors seem like polar opposites, right? That is, until you meet Dr. House, the not so typical medical genius who is about as warm as an ice cube. While he balances leading a hospital team and escaping his personal issues, we can't help but connect to his struggles and admire his bluntness towards others. He told us our son was dead. It's only a white lie. Technically, all I did was call him a little early. Trust me, he'll be dead real soon. Over the course of eight seasons, viewers get to laugh, cry, and learn new medical jargon with the beloved medic. Love him or hate him, you gotta admit, his humor beats most doctors you've met. We're gonna remove the jaw. Anybody got a buzz saw? 
Okay, call a surgeon. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Cookie Lion, Empire. Fierce like a lion, she'll do whatever it takes to protect her power. Now, let's talk business, shall we? Hey, sister girl. You guys excuse us for a moment. Yes, please. excuse us for a moment, please. Okay. Leslie Nope, Parks and Recreation. The ultimate positive poly with the best outlook on life. Oh, just make sure your students leave with a smile. My class is called Coping with Terminal Illness. Hopefully your attendance is good. Actually, no. Hopefully it's bad. Sherlock Holmes, Sherlock. His capability to uncover even the toughest case is unmatched. Three years ago, is that when they told you? Told me what? That you're a dead man walking. So are you. You don't have long. Am I right? Walter White, Breaking Bad, the anti-hero willing to go to any extremes to support his family. I liked it. I was good at it. Lucy Ricardo, I Love Lucy, the comedy queen of silly shenanigans. <laughs> Lucy? Yeah? You know something? What? I'm not hungry. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Buffy Summers. Buffy, the Vampire Slayer. You burned down the gym. I did, I really did, but, but you're not seeing the big picture here. High school is already tough as it is, let alone when you have supernatural powers. The fierce teenager manages to simultaneously juggle the growing pains of becoming an adult and defeating evil forces. Courage, comedy, and cunningness are just a few adjectives to describe the heroine who inspired underdogs all over the world. Ugh. Is there a problem, ma'am? Yeah, there's a problem. Why are you following me? Let's not forget what an amazing feminist Buffy is as well. She breaks stereotypes by profoundly showcasing the complexities of femininity in her own way. Fighting forces of darkness may be a peculiar extracurricular activity to have in school, but it's also pretty damn cool. You may in fact stand between the earth and its total destruction. Well, I gotta look on the bright side. Maybe I can still get kicked out of school. Who's your favorite TV icon? Let us know in the comments. That's right, a jet to New York City! Let it out! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.